<laughs> They're cute, aren't they? You really like them, don't you? So, I'm going to zoom out because I'm not going to do that to your face. <laughs> so, speaking of painted dogs, how much do you love me? A lot. Um, do you want to do me a favour? What? Do you want to check in my bag for a brown envelope? <clears throat> yes. Would you would you like to like to open that envelope? No, you've 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 broken it, haven't you? That's it. You've ruined the whole present. Bag. There goes the bag. It's fine. It's okay. I'll talk about you later. Oh look, a piece of paper. A painted dog experience. Yeah. So, me, Amy, Gemma, James and Sophie know that you've had a really hard time with everything and we just wanted to remind you that we all love you very much and yeah we know that the shark experience didn't go down too well so no yeah. basically means it didn't happen because it was sold out yeah but it basically means that you get to feed that wherever that is when i don't know whenever you want so situation and this is why i'm upset are you happy with that i am more than happy thank you that. i i love the <laughs> <laughs> i had a little air bubble i like the validation so situation i emailed here a good couple of weeks ago now i understand that we're in the middle of a pandemic and you know things don't go according to plan however queen's got to do a birthday for her king so i basically got in touch and i was like oh are there any experiences available today no one got back in touch with me so hopefully if you like this video my cheekbones look fantastic today that's besides the point if you like this video which you should and potentially subscribe as well because i'm on a roll we are going to do a painted dog experience so you guys can watch it and that is gareth's birthday present you're not even looking at me you're looking at the fence that is gareth's birthday present <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah. That's one of your big presents. One of? One of. You've got two. Oh, I all feel like I'm going into the woods. Is that okay? Yeah. Are you yeah. sure that's okay? Yeah. I'm not doing this for validation <laughs> or footage. I literally... Oh! Oh! I'm a very unhappy baboon. That wasn't a child. <laughs> So if you can see those gorgeous creatures over yonder, that is also a baboon. That's not a baboon. The screaming's the baboon. So that was a thing. <laughs> I literally wanted to turn around and be like, I'm trying to vlog. Um, so, so, you know, when you're at school and there's like a fight that proper starts out and they proper like, I know, I saw them. I showed them, I showed them the nice people. Um, and they start like proper brawling and stuff like that. And the teacher hasn't arrived yet, but you all just stand around and watch. That's, that's basically what just happened. That was really fun. But on another note, here's more dogs i will try and zoom in and show you so these are african painted dogs uh spoiler alert they're from africa <laughs> and they basically they hunt in packs and they're one of the most successful predators in africa mainly because of how they work together as a pack and how they take down their prey and we learned about the african painted dogs when was it were we watching we were watching a program secret life of the zoo yeah so we was watching secret life of the zoo 
and they've got like a phenomenal pack and we, we went to go and visit them and Gareth really likes them. I was going to see if they did a hyena experience. They don't. They also don't do a red panda experience which is really upsetting. Every time I've tried to get one at Chester Zoo they've been sold out. Shock horror. So I thought the next best thing would be the African painted dog. I'm not going to tell you how much it was. However, I, however, I will flash the price up on the screen. Uh, <laughs> but I just want to do a massive shout out to Gemma, Amy, James and Sophie. Thank you so, so much for contributing. Like, I wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys. I really wouldn't. Money's a bit tight at the moment. And now we're, we're going past the painted dog experience. I think this is just a random... Brandon walkway bug hotel oh they've got a bug hotel that's cute i'd really like to have a little bee hotel in our garden i don't really want to do too much to our garden just because we're desperate to move and i don't oh yeah my sunflowers are pretty much taking up the entire garden so that's that plan out of the out of the water but we're going to head over to the polar bears now so I will see you guys then. See if she answers. Oh, she really likes polar bears. Have you have you got mum with you? Go and get mum. Hello. Have you got your glasses on? Yeah, why? Can you see it? Can you see it's a pig. Mum, it's a polar bear. A polar bear. <laughs> <laughs> right, listen. Happy birthday, Gary. Oh, for God's sake. You know what? I found your favourite animal, right? And you're calling it a pig. It's got your farm once in a zoo. <laughs> look, just look at the. It's not a pig. It's real. Yes, it's real. <laughs> so as you can probably tell from that encounter, Mum had no idea what she was looking at. She thought it was a pig and the people next to us just lost their minds. They thought it was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> like, it's not though, is it Mum? It's a polar bear. And 
this enclosure is massive there's like four polar bears all together and I think it's because it's a conservation effort to save the polar bears I think they're trying to do a breeding program to basically bulk up the numbers because people are mean and killing them and it's not fair but we've also noticed I'll try and move you guys over there and zoom in so that big structure over there like I was saying all of the buildings they're, they're basically in the shape of honeycomb of hives and it's actually going to be a hotel so if you are thinking about potentially staying here like if you'd like to stay here I think that's something that's potentially going to be possible very soon like we've said at the, at the start of this experience everything is relatively new it's really really new there's loads of stuff they're doing there's loads of conservation work oh, they're um yeah they're building a lot of the habitats so i think they're going to get more animals as well but it's it's really exciting because it feels like the kind of place where if you keep coming back things are going to be different every single time and i really love that whereas with somewhere like chester zoo it's already fleshed out already they can't really i mean they can like every time we do go there's always something kind of new but it's also kind of the same as well and i think it's just a case of i don't know how long yorkshire wildlife park has been going but it's massive if you are going to come here i would absolutely recommend walking boots i'm like i said before i'm wearing my boots just because i don't want wet feet but the backs of my heels are starting to feel it now and i'm wearing jeans as well like an idiot <laughs> so yeah if you're going to oh, 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 oh. i'm really sorry i just saw a polar bear bear with look that looks nothing like a pig mom if you're watching this it's not a pig is it but like i was saying if you are going to come here get get good footwear get comfortable trousers potentially we've like i said got a reservation at half seven for the restaurant outside of the wildlife park so we're literally going to be here all day so you need to pace yourselves really i mean you can you absolutely can it's a big place you need a good couple of hours to to really enjoy it i think what we're going to do is now that i've got most of my footage i'm just going to put my camera away and basically just enjoy the day because even though it's nice bringing you guys along i really appreciate it and i really hope you guys have enjoyed it it's also this one's birthday is it back again yeah the trees i'm not doing it i'm not doing it captain america on your way <laughs> he's back at it again i walk and try not to be Look at him, or her, or them. We don't discriminate by gender here. No, oh. you're a beautiful, baby. You're also beautiful. You're both beautiful. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. You're all beautiful. Also, I apologise if my voice still sounds croaky. I am still minorly ill i'm a lot better than i was which is nice and we're just chilling with a polar bear i do believe you can do an experience to feed the polar bear however like most things it's not cheap for gareth's experience alone it was quite a bit you can do another experience as well where it's like a five um a 
five part carnivore experience and that basically means you go to all the big cats and you can feed them but again it's a lot of money I don't know if you can see right there <gasps> she's waking up or he I don't know oh look at the little baby oh we've literally been thinking because it's starting to rain a bit now um, that they might wake up I'm so sorry about the camera they might wake up to move but we can't be too sure but we are going to stick around here for a little bit just because I'm starting to feel really tired Gareth is also starting to feel really tired so we are we are just gonna keep an eye on the red pandas <gasps> oh oh cheeky keep moving because there's actually um, there's two more apart from this one that I'm showing you guys and they're both still asleep they're sound asleep they're not they're not going anywhere anytime soon updates will follow <laughs> so situation uh, I'm not feeling too well um, we had to come and get a couple of drinks, didn't we? By couple, I mean one, two, three, uh, four. I had another bottle of water. I got really dehydrated. It was my fault. When you come here and if it's really sunny, bring water. I don't know how you haven't drank anything. You're like a camel. You retain water. Um, what time is it now? Quarter past two. <laughs> so we've got five hours. We have five hours left until our reservation. Um, so from this point on, like I have filmed quite a lot, so I think I'm just going to film little bits and pieces of like different animals and stuff like that. There is a lot that I haven't shown you, just because now that I've given Gareth the painted dog experience, he wants to come back again. So it will give us something to do and something to talk about when we come back again. So, um, basically, like I said, what I'm going to do now is if there, are, if there are animals that I haven't seen or we haven't seen, I'm just going to film them for a little bit. And then the next time you potentially see us will be either at the restaurant that we're going to or in the car on the way back. Also because my battery's dying. Um, it started getting a bit quieter now so hopefully hopefully it'll be a nice chill for the rest of the day but yeah as you guys probably know I've had really bad side effects from the second Covid jab and they haven't completely gone and it's really really draining on me now so 
Yeah, so enjoy more animals and then I will see you at the restaurant. Peace. We're back again hi you probably noticed that we are back in the house we also look very tired and we're not in the same clothes it is the next day just because um the last bit that i left off on uh, we were in the restaurant and my camera died yay, yay. <laughs> but we literally as soon as i got in the car i fell asleep didn't i yeah. in the most awkward position my jaw was hurting for some reason um and then we literally got back it took us about an hour and a half to get back and then we just went straight to sleep and we just kind of had a chill day today haven't we mm -hmm. went to see cruella that was really fun really enjoyable a uh, quick note if you are going to the cinema if you're going to odeon they don't do a lot of food and drink at the stands at the moment because of covid reasons so that's in the uk in the uk yeah i i don't know what's going on with you crazy cats over in america uh, i hope it's going okay but yeah um so the situation is we literally went in they asked if we'd pre-booked our tickets and we had not because the website was a little bit iffy um and they were only serving nachos and they didn't have all the dips and they were only really serving ice blasts and the soft drinks and stuff but there wasn't any popcorn or any other dips so just to let you guys know but i'm digressing so 
Did you enjoy your day? I did. I enjoyed it very much. Okay, I know I keep asking you, but what was your favourite bit? That has to be the surprise. I think I did very well on that. I messaged the guys that helped us afterwards and they were really happy and we're going to try and organise a day, aren't we, to yeah. go back and do the painted dog experience. Um, also, because of how I was feeling throughout the day, I was still feeling relatively ill. So mm. we had to do a lot of stopping and starting. It's a very big place. It's a lot of walking. Take a lot of drink with you. Take a lot of water. Take some comfortable clothes because doing it in jeans and boots was was not fun. It really wasn't fun. I don't know if you struggled. You got a bit tired, didn't you? Just my ankles. But don't book the restaurant on a whim. <laughs> yeah 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 so like I kept saying we got there for about nine o'clock and then we saw that the what was it called evolution yeah. evolution yeah the evolution restaurant which we'll talk about in a second uh, it had a booking for half seven and Gareth literally said it's my birthday I'll book it it'll be fine it was not fine it really was not fine even though the place was big it was a lot of walking and a lot of killing time. Also, because of the restrictions, I don't know if it was a case of once you left, you couldn't go back into the wildlife section. So, you know, if you are thinking about going, I would be careful of that. However, when we did go to the Evolution restaurant, it was really good, wasn't mm. it? Really, really good. So it said it was like a theatrical themed dining experience. And from what you can see from the recording I took, the, there were two two sides of it, and then there was a boat in the middle, and one side was like prehistoric, wasn't it? Yeah. And the other side was fantasy, so it had like dragons, and um, it was like Jason and the Argonauts, if you know what that is. Um, but it was amazing. There was projections. There were animatronics. There were there were mm. animatronics. There was a T Rex animatronic, and it kept poking its head out every now and again that was amazing but i don't want to i don't want to give too much away the only thing i will say is it did say that there would be entertainers coming around we didn't have that did we no but that's probably because of the sign of the times yeah so as an entertainer i can say that a lot of entertainment has changed in a lot of theme parks in a lot of um themed dinners as well so they will be looking at covid restrictions and the safety for the performers and the guests as well so if you are going to somewhere that does say dinner entertainment they might not necessarily have the entertainment coming to your table just mm -hmm. to keep you guys safe but the restaurant was amazing we absolutely mm. loved it the food was really good wasn't it yeah. really really good for the style of the restaurant i think for any disney enthusiasts and disney goers mm. From what we've seen, even though we've never been ourselves, but we've seen uh, these videos, it's very similar to the T Rex Cafe yeah. at Disney Springs. Yeah, 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 totally, totally. Um, the food was really good. The food was mm. gorgeous. However, there's a lot of it. Yeah, there is a lot of it. Bearing in mind, we hadn't eaten properly all day, apart from when we went to the Safari Cafe. Uh, and we had that sausage sandwich you had a sausage roll and we had yeah. the chips between us or fries and then when we got to the actual restaurant so i had the fish and chips and that came with like mushy peas and uh lemon to sprinkle on your fish as well and you had the i had the evolution burger which yeah. ba a bacon and cheeseburger basically and we decided to get sides as well and we really shouldn't have got the sides because the sides were massive like i got onion rings and you got the garlic uh, flatbread and it was it was it was about this big i wasn't expecting it to be that big it was really really big so but i think the sides individually were three pound 25 each yeah so it is it is a little bit pricey i will say you, that you get quality for the price yeah, it's worth it like it's not a case of you go into a fancy restaurant and you literally get that so you know it was really really good and our waiter hey, bethany, bethany bethany yeah so we had the lovely bethany we also had a nice lady she had a ponytail and she was wearing glasses and we had a nice lad and he had his hair in a bun so if you're watching he, vlog -bombed you. he did vlog bomb me but it was fine if you're watching <laughs> this thank you very much for looking after us it was absolutely lovely and um 
you put in a little bit of extra info yeah. when you booked the tables, didn't you? And Gareth said that it was his birthday and every server we knew. had knew it was his birthday and wished him a happy mm. birthday. So that was really sweet. I imagine if you book it in advance, like really far in advance, you can take a cake and stuff like that yeah. and they'll they'll do that for you. But all in all, we really loved it. Really, really loved it. Um the day the park was a lot better than we thought it would be mm -hmm. i like i said we've never been before never been before and we're kind of creatures of habits yeah so we like to go places where we know and mm. we know what we're what we're getting but, but it has been on our list for a while yeah 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 and the fact that they've got polar bears sorry really big white pigs Mum, if you're watching this, I can't believe you did that. Mum, look at what I found. Shows her a polar bear. Oh, yeah, that's great. It's a pig, isn't it? There's a family next to me, and I don't know if it's in the video no, yet. No, I, um, I didn't catch them in the... <laughs> they heard the whole conversation, didn't they? And they were like, it's a big pig. <laughs> so, yeah, like, you see everything. Unfortunately, the red pandas were asleep the whole time. So I didn't get to see them, so I'm sorry about that. But hopefully when we go again, we'll be able to see the red pandas in action. Um, no hyenas. No hyena hyenas. We didn't see any hyenas. A lot of a lot of the animals, it might have been too hot for them. And then it did rain throughout the day. So, you know, if you are going, take an umbrella. Because there's, there's not no, a lot of shelter. No. Not a lot of shelter at all, is there? We were quite fortunate. I've got quite a big umbrella, but especially if you've got a bigger family as well there is not a lot of shelter and everyone's kind of thinking the same thing what little shelter there is <clears throat> they're heading straight for it mm. um but apart from that it was a really fantastic day they've got a massive variety of animals from all over the place all the different areas have got um countries they're themed after so it's quite easy to find them and it the enclosures are big, they're massive, yeah. and it's easy to see the animals, really easy to see the animals. Whereas when we go to Chester Zoo, we feel like we have to work quite hard to see them. Mm. Um, but like I said, they're not, they're not themed as much as Chester Zoo enclosures are. But again, it is a relatively new... It's only been open since 2009. Yeah, yeah. So what I'd like to say about it is it's still in its baby stages. Well, we saw some construction work, didn't we? Yeah, we saw loads. the wolf. Um, it looks like they're going to expand that area. Yeah. So I think it'll be a case <clears> of every time we go, there'll be something new. So hopefully we can show you guys all the new things going on and whatnot. But all in all, I think that was a really, really good day. I'm it was glad a very that, good day. I'm Thank glad you. that you enjoyed it. Mm. Um, the next couple of vlogs, I will be doing my 200 subscribers <clears throat> giveaway. Yay, we've hit 200. I think we're 206 now. I'm not too sure. Uh, yes, we're at 206, so I will be doing a giveaway for you guys if you are interested in that. Um, I'm going to be doing a load more unboxings as well. I've got an unboxing to do from October, but it's only just got here. We're going to be talking about some alternative eco-friendly products as well, so that's going to be really exciting. And we will endeavour to go on some more adventures, won't we? But unfortunately, with the summer holidays coming up, our schedule is going to be quite scarce, so we'll have to see how that goes but thank you so much for joining us we really appreciated it mm. and from what gareth has been telling me i will be vlogging my birthday as well so that'll be quite exciting and we're vlogging london comic con as well so i've got a photo op and i've got a diamond pass to meet alice cooper you now have a photo op to meet whom nick frost i got him a nick frost photo op so that'll be really exciting uh, did you did you like that? Mm. Good, I'm glad. Good to meet Danny Butterman. Yes, and Ed, and what's he called in World's End? I can't remember. Oh gosh, me neither. I well, think it's because it's the weakest of the Cornetto trilogy. We'll have to in watch. Our, in my opinion. In in our opinion, we'll have to watch it again. So yes but apart from that thank you very much for joining us i hope you've had a good day if not that's okay always remember tomorrow's a new day see you later guys bye, bye.